Liam, welcome to Bolton Wanderers. How have you settled in during your first week and a half at the club? Yeah, it's been really good. Um, obviously, it's going to be a difficult transition with a with the club and the amount of new players coming in, new management and things like that. But um, the manager's laid down the ground rules and, and he's set the standard for the lads. And I think now is just a case of going to work and, and seeing what we can do. What made you want to come and play for Bolton Wanderers? Uh, just the manager in terms of, for, for me, I think obviously Bolton uh, is a big club. It's a shame what's happened to it in the last uh, year or so. But for me, the manager, he, um, when I spoke to him on the phone, um, said the right words that I wanted to hear and, and I think for me the, the biggest thing was his, um, his ambition and his, his, his desire to go and win and, and, and do things right and that was one of the main reasons that I really wanted to come in. Yeah, how have you found working with Keith Hill and David Flipcroft? Yeah, they've been brilliant. Like I said, we've, we've had a, a, a tough week uh, building, up, building up to this week's game um, but they've been brilliant for, uh, towards me and the rest of the lads and like I said, he's, he's set the ground, ground rules and we know what we need to go and do now. Obviously, we know you're a midfield player, but how would you describe yourself as a player? What are your main attributes? Um, breaking up play um, and starting play. Uh, I think my qualities are, and this is one of the, one of the reasons the manager brought me in, he, he's uh, massive on possession and the type of player I am. I like to keep the ball and, and keep the ball moving and, like I said, breaking up play and, and helping defensively. Both yourself and Daryl Murphy joined the club on transfer deadline day from Nottingham Forest. What can you tell us about Daryl? Um, uh, brilliant professional, brilliant player. I think uh, anyone who's followed his career um, knows that he's he's a top professional in terms of on and off the pitch, and it will uh, bring something different to the to the club in terms of his goals and and his desire to go and win. I think he's he's been brilliant over the last what ten years now, and and he's uh, been consistent. And yeah, hopefully he can carry on here. Nine players came to the club on transfer deadline day. It certainly means there's competition for places now. Can you sense the hunger and determination from the group on the training ground? Yeah, from day one. Um, from day one, the, the manager set out and said what he wants from us. Um, and I think everyone what's, uh, what's come to the club, uh, we're all on the same page. We, we want to be uh, successful. We want to try and keep this club in the league and um, yeah, and start, start showing that what kind of players we are. And I think this is a, a great place to come and do it. It's been a while since you last played a competitive game. You must be itching to get back out there onto the pitch. Yeah, massively. I think um, the last year has been disappointing, disappointing for me, uh, just in just in terms of lack of games. Um, for me, yeah, I'm, like I said, I've had um, a good pre-season. I'm fit and well, and I'm, yeah, I'm dying to go. In a, a week or so, we're up against one of your former clubs, Sunderland. That must be a game that you're looking forward to. Yeah, I think that's always going to be a big game when you're playing against uh, your old clubs. It's always going to be. A bit of added pressure on yourself to, to go and perform, but yeah, every game I'm going to look forward to, and every game I'm going to give my best, and and hopefully that that can uh, help the team. There's a feeling of positivity at the moment, a feeling that the fans have, have got their club back. I think the season tickets went on sale earlier in the week. They've sold seven thousand already. You must be looking forward to sort of helping to keep that positive momentum going. Yeah, definitely. I think it starts from us um, in terms of that. I think if, once we start winning games the crowds will start to come back and, and the fans will have that belief. I think they've had a tough time over the last year or two um, in terms of how the club's been managed. Um, but I think that it's on track to being back to what it should have should have had in terms of the, the club and the, the size of the club. And I think, like you said, with new players, we're all eager to go and play and impress and, um, yeah, and, and give the fans what they want. They want a, a club that they can come and support and, and cheer on to win games.